Hey guys, welcome back to Gin and Tinner Less. Today I'm here to give you an update on my progress so far with the finish six by summer. And if you didn't watch my first video, I'll just link that down below. But I've made some really good progress and some not so good progress. So I just wanted to share that with you. The first thing, let's take a look at this concealer. I have been using this concealer as an eye base under my shadows and it works wonderfully. I thought by using it every single day I would run through it a little bit quicker. I haven't really made that much progress. I'm going to continue to use it but it is getting really really light uh, and I guess my skin's getting darker because it's getting warmer outside even though I wear SPF. I haven't made enough progress to be proud of it yet but I'm not giving up on this. Another thing I was very surprised about, my double wear foundation. I have been using this literally 30 days straight, sometimes even twice a day. I do one pump on my face and blend it out with a beauty blender and then I do one pump on my neck just because I'm trying to use up product kind of, and I want it to blend, but I, it's really a perfect match for me. And then sometimes when I wake up in the morning, I'll spot conceal with this and then put on a BB cream or something. Um, and then later in the day after I go to the gym or whatever, then I'll put on a full face. So I'm using it like a lot and have not made that much progress considering all that use. So it just kind of goes to show you that it is harder to run through some foundations. This is a foundation that you don't want to cake on. Um, I would never put two pumps on my face, especially not with a brush. The beauty blender really thins it out. But um, yeah, that's been interesting, an interesting journey. And then I've got this concealer by Estee Lauder. And it. I have the lines written on here, but they're not really that accurate because you can't see through this container. It's a very heavily pigmented concealer. So I can't really tell where I am. I know, I think this is accurate. It's kind of towards the bottom because I noticed that when I pull it out, there's not as much product on the wand. So this is kind of a shot in the dark. We'll see how, how that one goes. I have, I don't remember what it looked like before, but I feel like I'm making pretty good progress on this bronzer, you know, still working around the edges. I'm using it down my neck, on my face every day. This Jouer lip treatment, I uh, can't tell how much is left in here, but it looks pretty good. I think I'll definitely get done with this. I put this on every night before I go to bed. It's not something I would wear during the day because it's super greasy looking, like shiny looking and, um, yeah, but it does a great job at night. This Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer and Brightener, my skin is just too dark for this. I was going to use it as a highlight, and um, yeah, I, I mean, I've made some progress considering I kind of gave up on this like a week ago or two, um, and yeah, this is probably out of the running. I have finished my IT Cosmetics number 50. You can kind of tell if you look up close that I've been scraping the edges. Maybe I can get a Q-tip in there because the, the whole top does come off, but what I've been doing is just kind of using that and um, trying to scrape out the rest of it. I'm also making pretty good progress on this Mally Brow Gel. I can tell I'm kind of near the bottom because when I do one brow, I have to go back in and get more product to do the other brow, so it must be almost done. So that's how I'm doing so far. I'd love to hear your progress down below. Has anything already been taken off your list? I'm glad I chose more than six products because um, then I would already be a failure. But <laughs> I don't know. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.